Oh, oh here boy. Here we go. See, this is why you can never give a leftoid any attention. All right, hang on. Let's get a look at this woman's face here. Lauren. Tall, blonde communist yeah, won't date a man who makes less than six figures. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, communism and having a six-figure six income don't, don't really they jive. They totally go together. The only people in communism who make that kind of money are people at the top of the food chain. Yeah, well, these are these are the same idiots who think that communism, well, it'll work this time because no one else did it right. Yeah, they didn't do it right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, well, they're dumb enough to think that after the Night of the Long Knives, they're going to be a party member. That's not going to happen. You're going to be a serf. You're going to be digging in the field, yeah. and if they don't like you, they're going to shoot you. Well, once once your usefulness is gone, you're going to get ground up in the uh, compost machine. Yep. Ugh. This next one. Whew. I'm 12 weeks pregnant, and I feel like I'm way too big already. My husband and I experimented with a horse. Oh, my God. One drunken oh. night around when I conceived. Is it possible I'm actually carrying a foal? I'm so scared to go ultrasound and then make me abort. If so, I'm pro-life 100%, even if it is a horse. And this is my favorite part. No judging, especially if you live in Arkansas. <laughs> all right. What does that have to do with it? All right. First of all, <laughs> I think the uh, the good book f is frowns upon interspecies erotica <laughs> but to the point where everyone participating in that is put to the sword. <laughs> and it says that in the good book. Woo. Uh, hop on the good foot and do the bad thing. Uh. Oh, this is terrible. But, you know, you figure if she had any education at all, she would know that's not, it's absolutely impossible for yeah. it to happen. You would think. But, hey, you know, I mean, if you uh, if you voted Democrat in the last election, you're either dead or a retard. We just crossed 1,000 viewers on YouTube. Thank you all very much for joining in. Thank you so much. Now, this next one should be called How to Admit You're Cheating Without oh, Admitting That it, You're Cheating. Yeah, okay. Because this is... Uh, projection right here oh yeah this is classic are you home yes babe take a picture with a spoon on top of your head why to prove you're home okay wait and he does it because he's an idiot hmm what you could have taken that yesterday why would i take a picture with a spoon on top of my head yesterday you notice she doesn't have to prove where she is no no and, and you know first of all for you to even entertain this this dude is a white knight cuck mangina. Yeah. In my opinion, of course. He's probably home with her kids from two prior relationships. Mm-hmm. It's just horrendous. Yeah. Listen, if you're a dude and you're with a woman and you're attracted to her and everything's clicking and she starts making all kinds of crazy demands from you, take that as a hint. Your time is done. Leave the meat or the number at the meat counter. Let somebody else take a new number. Your turn is over. <laughs> Move along. Yes, and take your hard salami with you. Yes. Sliced oh, thinly. Yeah. If you have ever had a text conversation with a woman like this, she's cheating on you, and she's probably still trying to wash the taste of the throat yogurt out of her mouth while she's sending you these texts. Yeah, and you prob she probably came home and you put your mouth on it. <laughs> that is some horrid stuff right there. Oh, Bing! Oh, uh, she's twenty six. Callie's twenty six. Mommy of five. All right, she's she, like, look how wide her face is. Okay, uh, and see, how close up the photo is. And of you course, can see the shoulder there. This this woman is probably pulling two bills, and she's wearing camo, which means she's probably stalking someone. Could be going through a divorce. I'm not looking for hookups or friends with benefits, wanting to chat and see where it goes. Yet, underneath her location, it says, looking for chatting friendship, something casual. Uh-huh. And you but know she what's... totally doesn't want to hook up her friends with benefits. She's got five kids. Five right? kids at 26. So she's willingly getting divorced so she could go on the, the welfare rolls, because that's what's going to happen. Even if she started at 16, mm -hmm. that's a kid every two years from 16 on. And I bet you... If she compacted it from the legal age, oh boy. Yeah, there's been no rest. Those pipes have been stretched. Would it change her name from Callie to Wizard Sleeve Wendy? <laughs> whistle Sack. <laughs> or Whistle Pig. 
Oh, yeah. A really expensive bottle of booze. 88 bucks for that. Bing. Oh, my God. Ah, Kira, 26 years old. I'm going to read this, then the rest here. I'm a sweetie pie. Where's my hubby, though? But don't F with me if you wit dat freaky shit. Get to know me first. We not about to trade pics. It ain't fitting to be no Netflix and chill around here. These legs are sealed. Hit me up, though, if you trying to get married. Independent business owner at Boss Mom. Snapchat is Fat Mama. <laughs> Don't you love how they, they wear they wear it out, and yep. then they want to sell it at full price? Yeah, the dude who she you know created his devil spawn mm -hmm. never had to prove himself to her in half the ways that you will have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to jump through hoops for a single mother who's blown out, walled out, and stalled out. <laughs> It's, just, it's not worth it, man. No, it's not. It's just not worth it. This is probably the most disturbing one. Oh, God. My grandma is oh, pregnant. Oh, oh. She's only 46, so we're pretty excited at first. But now she's claiming my husband is the father. I don't know what to do. He does spend a lot of time helping at her house. Yeah, cleaning the cobwebs out of her slot C. Oh I can't believe he'd plow my granny, though. Now, remember, do the math. If she's only 46 and she's a grandma, math works both ways. Yeah, she started in her late teens. Yeah. I can't. We'd have to wait months for a paternity test. If it's his, would the baby be my aunt slash uncle and stepchild? It's also worth noting oh, God. that my husband is both my brother and my uncle. And my grandma is his grandma, too, and also his ex-girlfriend. What the f***? It can't be real. I'm really not sure what to do, and no, this is not a stupid joke. This is serious, so please refrain from rude responses. This is some red trash right <laughs> That's the kind of shit I saw in upstate New York. That's, some just, that's total red trash right there. Yes, yes, it is. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Wow! Grandma is also his ex-girlfriend, and it's his grandma, too. Wow. I even, I even know how that's possible. I, I don't know, man. All I know is that the gene pool and that family... Is shallow. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's like one of those f***ing uh, souffle cups you get from Olga's kitchen. <laughs> wow. You couldn't even get your finger wet in that shit. Wow. Watch Grunt's Beak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.